Uh, it sure seems like uh, everybody's got an opinion on what should happen to the Rays and certainly the Trop in St. Pete if they leave. And there are plenty, plenty of ideas out there, including some new ones from a few unlikely voices. Nightside's Josh Doritz shows you why this time it's the adults who have to sit down and listen because the kids have the floor. You go background, oh. and then you go color. Even on summer break, these St. Pete High students have homework, but this presentation is on one of St. Pete's most debated sites, not for class, but city council. I'll be honest with you, I was as skeptical as the next guy being like, really, what are they going to do with a bunch of 16-year-olds talking to them and being like, we have this idea. Oh, they've got ideas, all right. They are two of a group of eight in the city's summer at City Hall program. The objective, develop a plan to redevelop Tropicana Field. I'm passionate about sustainability, and so that was at the forefront of my mind. They're looking at how to incorporate parks like this or architecture like that. It reintroduces wildlife and it cleans the air, so it's applying a new method of architecture. And if you were wondering, noticeably absent from all of these grand plans, a baseball stadium. Right now, as the TROP is, it's a stadium, there's a lot of parking doesn't do much, but this is a chance to change that and honestly kind of like shift the dynamic of our city. And these kids are more than ready to change the dynamic of the conversation too. The reality is we are citizens of St. Pete. We are going to be here for a long time. Fresh thoughts, fresh ideas. I like it. No baseball stadium though. That's one thing I was wondering. <laughs> they haven't moved to Montreal yet, people, okay? No. But I do like that yeah. there are some plans to think about what they could do with the site. They even said, though, if city leaders don't incorporate any of these ideas they brought to the table, they at least hope it inspires others to be creative and think outside of the box. The group, by the way, is set to present their plan to the St. Pete City Council tomorrow afternoon.